Alright, I'm going to show you five techniques that you can use to triangulate your mesh from quads to triangles. Um, this is not going to include the exporting option uh, that you can use. Just triangulate will triangulate the whole mesh when you export it. Um, but these techniques will be all within 3ds Max. So the first technique I use the most is the connect uh, option. So if you just go into vertices selection and just Control A to select everything, you can use the um, connect option over here and that will connect all the vertices together um, personally like using this the most uh, when you want to triangulate specific parts like end gons so you can just uh, select the end gons convert to vertex and I have, a, I have it bound to D as a hotkey alright so press D and you triangulate everything you can just select all that press D it's uh, pretty good Alright, the second uh, technique is to use a modifier called turn to poly. So you can just type in turn, we can use turn to poly here, and we can uh, choose limit polygon by size, and then we just select, change that to three, and that will change all the polygons to have three sides. This is extremely helpful when you have multiple uh, meshes that you want to uh, triangulate, you can turn to poly. And it's really helpful. And because it's a modifier, you can just come back down to the edit editable poly and edit more. Go back to modeling. And once you're done, you can just collapse that down. And now you got a triangulated mesh here. So the third technique I'm going to use is converting it to a mesh. So we can convert it to an edible mesh. And if we select all the edges here, we can actually see that it's already triangulated. But this is just like a viewport uh, thing. So we can actually make that permanent by coming up to surface properties and just clicking visible. And then we can convert this back to an edible poly. And this is also now triangulated. Now these last two techniques are nothing special, um, but I'm just going to show you them anyway. So um, you can actually convert this to an edible patch, and that will triangulate it like straight away. And you can convert that back to an edible poly. Um, There's that way. There's also um, we can use another modifier called subdivide. Find that down here. And that will actually subdivide uh, your mesh. But what you should do, you can just bump up the size all the way until it stops subdividing, but but until it keeps um, the triangulation. And you can see how that's also another way to triangulate your mesh. Collapse that, go to a poly, and there you go. I hope this was helpful. Uh, take care.